Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Very excited to be back here in the UK. The, uh, the fight this weekend, this is the most tickets sold, I think, since 1995 for a fight in London. Finally, after seven years, you know, there's, there's always been all the talk. This guy's better than that guy. This guy would beat this guy. Now we've got them all. We've almost got them all. We're close to having them all. And, and um, we're about one away from answering all the questions that people have been asking for years. Who's the best fighter in the world in every weight class? You know, obviously, it's a very exciting time for me, but I think it's an, a, an exciting time for MMA fans, for anybody who's just getting in. It's, it's uh, the next year and a half, two years, are going to be nothing but mega fights with all the greatest stars in mixed martial arts. It's awesome. I think golf should be banned, but you know what? A lot of people like playing golf and watching it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. 18 deaths a year in boxing. Um, I don't think there's been one death in MMA, you know? Are you calling for boxing to be banned? There's some people out there that don't like contact sports. Don't watch it. <laughs> there's a lot of things I don't like either. I don't watch them, you know? And they need to ban the ballet. Those guys can get a hernia or something picking up those girls, <laughs> and they got those tight-ass pants on. That should be embarrassing. When those, that's bad. And ban it. I'm, I'm first. I'm first to help you. Who, who, want, who want to start that? Ban ballet. <laughs> For us, it's not even close. Uh, for us, the BMA, who came out with the recent report, is completely off base here. We really think they're a, serious, a bunch of elitists, frankly. They just don't like our sport. They've, I think, tried to pigeonhole us with boxing. They've been against boxing. But to pigeonhole us without really doing any research or investigation in a sport where there's been no serious injuries or deaths, I think, is, um, frankly, offensive. Uh, you know, if you come to a fight, I think what you're blown away most by is the reaction of the crowds and the, the energy that we put into the show and the crowd feeds off of, the fighters feed off of it, but it's the competition of the fighters themselves. I think that what they put on in the ring is what the crowd feeds off of, and that energy you leave as if you had walked out of the biggest rock concert you ever left from. You know, we're planning now. Um, we foresee at least four events in the UK in 08. Uh, and we're hoping to get out in Europe. We're hoping to get into Germany or Italy. Those are our targets. Dana mentioned Germany today. That's the one that feels like it's going to happen. Uh, but you never know sometimes until it happens. So the competitive organizations, you know, in some ways they serve a benefit because they're building the fighters that will fight for us. In America, there's a phrase in American baseball called the show, where you fight in all these small organizations, but you get to the show. We're clearly the show. So these organizations are in some way helpful to us so that we don't really... They don't bother us in any way. Um, so for us, they're, you know, they're serving some purpose. I think it's really just, we're only on the cusp of really how big this can be. And because of the international stars that are being built, I think that internationally this is going to be as big as maybe. I mean, in our dream, maybe as big as football one day, maybe.